It's 2003, and Namibian-born Herman Hunus leads a team reassessing a failed mass multiplayer game that was based on expensive SMS technology. This gave way to innovate in a different direction over a two-year period to eventually launch the notable South African tech marvel Mixit in 2005. In 2007, South African conglomerate Naspers would buy a 30% stake, confirming that Mixit was a pioneer in the instant messaging sphere of mobile technology in the emerging markets of Africa and other parts of the world. The app is said to have been compatible with as many as 8,000 devices, meaning various feature phones that predate smartphones. Feature phones are mobile phones that can offer web browsing and email and apps at a limited capacity and not as extensive as smartphones with Google Play, for example. Mixit reached a lot of milestones in its 11-year run, creating varied user experiences within the platform, such as multimedia sharing, blogs, chat rooms, and even educational tutoring programs, among many others. The number of users also serves as a highlight. In 2014, Mixit was reported to have 88 million registered users. The business had various streams of income, all the while democratizing mobile phone communication. So, what happened? A number of changes. Mixit was sold to World of Avatar and Alan Knott Craig Jr. became CEO. The deal was estimated by tech pundits to be around 500 million rand. This happening in the same year, Hunus gave a presentation about Mixit in London for the Activate Summit. Naspers would be selling its 30% stake around the same time. The sale was the result of the change in feelings and fatigue Hunas felt regarding Mixit. He shared candidly in an interview with itweb.co.za, I don't think my real strength is running companies. It is starting companies. Further elaborating, my energy levels have been in constant decline over the past 18 months. Mixit has been my life for most of the past eight years. I have invested millions of rands into the company and poured an enormous amount of sweat capital, said Hunas on his decision to depart from the company. The struggle by Mixit to be tech-adaptable is significant. Mixit was available for Android, BlackBerry, iPhone, iPad, Windows, cell phones, and tablets. However, it lacked on-par compatibility with smartphone devices giving way for international competitors, notably WhatsApp and BBM, to chip away at their market share as smartphones became cheaper and therefore grew in popularity in their core African market. As a true innovator, Hunus understood smartphone technology as the way forward, stating to itweb.co.za, why compete with smartphones, for example, embrace them, utilize their power and compatibilities, and create something so irresistible that users cannot wait to engage with the platform. He, however, left before leading Mixit in that direction, and the team at Mixit was aware of their inability to adapt effectively to smartphone technology and getting left behind as a result. The team at Mixit, according to Broad Media, stated that the success of those cheap smartphones, I believe, put Mixit sitting without a decent version for smartphones on a downward spiral that was impossible to come back from, despite the massive effort of the team. In 2012, Alan Knott Craig Jr. leaves Mixit due to reported disagreement about strategy with the major shareholders in the company, World of Avatar. Francois Swart in 2013 assumes the role of CEO at Mixit. During this time, the Mail and Guardian report a significant uptake in the purchasing of smartphones. Pepsell saw a 13% increase in smartphones being purchased from July 2013 to July 2014, which meant Swart and his team had their work cut out for them. The task would prove too great. In 2015, Mixit reported 2.7 million monthly users. In October of the same year, would announce announced closing down despite having 88 million registered users. Registered users did not translate to active users as Mixit was now clearly overtaken by international instant messaging platforms. Mixit would close its doors officially on the 30th of September 2016 as users could no longer use the app in any way. Mixit now remaining in the collective memory of those who were users in its heyday. Mixit would then donate intellectual property and tech assets to the REACH Trust. And that would be the end of an era.